what is going on guys welcome to your second video and in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uploading a test video to the website just to make sure everything's running smooth and we don't got any bugs or anything but before we do that I want to mention this what I did is I bought some shared hosting which is basically a space on the internet that you could upload files and I also bought a testing domain name and that's lisa1986.com so of course this is, is not the final name of the website but this is just a domain name I bought so you guys can follow the progression of the website and check out its latest development so again like I said lisa1986.com is going to be the testing website for this project so later on whenever we decide on a final name for the website all we have to do is pack up the database and all of our files and move it over to the domain name so it takes like five minutes but for testing purposes there you go so like I said I bought a testing website basically and whenever you buy a shared hosting account and log into it especially through HostGator it logs you right into your control panel now the very first thing we need to be able to do is upload files to our website because that's what we're developing of course so how do we upload files to the website so the first thing we need to do is we need to create an FTP account now FTP is basically the protocol where you transfer files from your computer to a server so let's go ahead and learn how to do that first if you look in your control panel you're gonna see a little icon called FTP accounts go ahead and click that and whenever you do it's gonna ask you pretty much to create a user so I'm just gonna name my user Bucky 20 and I'm gonna give them the password of actually I'm not even gonna tell you guys because I don't trust you guys you hooligans are gonna to try to hack into my website just go I have copied this and use password it just gave me like a random password but make your own and now the only other thing that we want to change is this make sure that our directory is pointing to public HTML there might be an extension on the end but public HTML is basically the main folder that when people go to look at your website this is the main files that you're going to see all of your web files you want to put in this folder so that's why we want to change the directory to that so we got our name password we want to put it in the main directory and we go ahead and hit create FTP account and now it says account created Bucky 20 we're good to go and just verify down here that this is your login name your path make sure it ends in public HTML and now what we need to do is we need to actually log into our account so in order to do that probably the most popular way is to use something called FileZilla now this is basically a program that you can install on your computer and it's really easy with like one click of a button you could transfer files that you've been working on on your computer to your server so in order to log on to your server this is what you do when your account is created down here you can click on this button configure FTP client now this is all the information that you need to log into your server so I already have that password copied that hopefully you guys didn't see and I'm gonna plug that in the password now for the host as you can see it's this thing right here FTP server so go ahead and copy that right there and that's going to be your host name so paste that right in the host name now for username it may be the username you created but more likely they added an extension on the end of it so mine is Bucky 20 at lisa1986.com the whole entire thing is your username not only Bucky 20 so I'm going to go ahead and plug that into username and the port you need that too and if you look it's port 21 probably could have just typed that but uh, I'm too lazy just gonna go ahead and paste that now go ahead and hit quick connect and you're gonna see a whole bunch of matrix things runs right here and it says directory listing successful so now even though you guys don't see it on the right hand side of your screen it says empty directory this is basically all of the web folders for our server and on the left is our computer so this is our computer this is the web server so obviously we need to make a test file for the web server just to see if it works so right now if you guys are curious whenever you go to lisa1986.com it gives you this little default page it's pretty much the standard 
page when you have no files listed. So what we want to do is we want to just upload a test file real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and open Notepad++ and create a real quick HTML file. So HTML, and actually it's not going to be an HTML file, you guys are going to see in a second. HTML, and just create, a, you don't even need a header right now. Body, body. And we might as well put it in a cool heading. Heading 1, that's a pretty cool one. And heading 1. Now, I'm guessing you guys are familiar with PHP already, but if you aren't, what you can do is we're going to be saving all of our development files as .php extensions. That way we can embed PHP code right in the HTML file. So what you can do, if you save it as HTML file, your PHP code isn't going to run. But if you save it as a PHP file, your PHP and HTML is going to run. I bet you guys knew that already, but you know I just think I'd stress it. So I'm just going to write bacon sauce just like that now go ahead and save this as what I did is I made a folder on my desktop called Lisa and I'm just gonna name it this index.php and it's crucial that this is what you name your file even though you guys might just be downloading this same file and go ahead and hit save now check this out in FileZilla go ahead and navigate and I already navigated to my desktop Lisa now go ahead and refresh this and you see your file right there now in order to get files to your server once you're logged in go ahead and navigate to the directory you want and we already are in the public HTML and just double click your file just like that now when you do you see that it appears on the right hand side and you get this little prompt at the top directory listing successful basically you were successful in moving this file to your server so how can we verify that well we just uploaded a test homepage so if you go back to lisa1986.com and hit refresh check it out it says bacon sauce so like I said the index.php is your default page whenever anyone goes to lisa1986.com or pretty much your main web page so there you go our server is hooked up correctly in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is getting our hands a little bit dirtier now that we know everything is working correctly and set up and uh yeah that's basically it so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video